guys, what's up? It's Nick here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a cool engraved text effect like the effect you're seeing right in front of me inside of Adobe Photoshop. This is actually a pretty simple effect right here. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be making it look like we have our text embedded in a metal button right here. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So to do this, first of all, you're going to need Adobe Photoshop. You can use Adobe Photoshop version CS3, CS4, or CS5. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be demonstrating inside of Adobe Photoshop version CS4. So anyway, let me just go ahead and close out of this, and then I'm going to go ahead and launch up Adobe Photoshop. So once that's done, you want to go up here to File and then create a new document and then make the width and the height whatever you want to. Since I want to go ahead and set it as my desktop background, I'm going to set it to 1280 by 800. I'm going to make the resolution 72 RGB color and the background is going to be white. And I'm going to go ahead and name this Engraved Text. Then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Once that's done, it should go ahead and bring up a uh, box right here. What you want to do once that's done is you want to go up here to edit and then you want to go down to fill and then what you're going to click on the little arrow right here and click on color. And you want to make the color a really dark gray like this dark gray right here. Then go ahead and click OK and then OK there. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and create a new layer. Once that's done, you want to go down and change your foreground color to white, and then you want to go down here and grab the rectangle tool. Once that's done, make sure the rectangle tool is selected on this right here, which is shape layers, and then go ahead and click and make your rectangle. So I'm going to make my rectangle right around there, and then you want to go ahead and put it to about the center of the screen, which is about there. Then what we want to do is we're going to go up here to layer, and then layer style, and then go to gradient overlay. And once that's done, it should bring up the gradient box. What you want to do is double click in here and then go ahead and select your own gradient. So what you want to do is you just want to make it look like a uh, metal gradient. So if I go ahead to my desktop and show you guys the one that I have right now. So let me just go ahead and uh, click OK there. And you want to go ahead and make it sort of like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead into my uh, gradient overlay options and I'm going to go ahead and try to go ahead and emulate that. So I'm going to go ahead and change this right here over at the end to a really light gray, uh, maybe too dark, right around here is good. And I'm going to turn this into a uh, light gray as well, like right around there. Maybe add in a little bit of white and uh, maybe one more gray just to be sure. And I think I'm going to add in one more gray. Or two. Maybe I'll just make the left hand at the center. And make it look around that. Now you can go ahead and customize this any way you want to with the uh, effects. Just make it look like a metal gradient. I'm going to go ahead and make it look like that for the sake of time right now. Once you're done with that, just go ahead and click OK. And then we want to go down here and create a new layer. And then what we want to do is we want to go down here and grab our text tool and then start typing in some text. Now you can use any fonts you want, but I'm using the font up here called Transformers, which I downloaded from a website called dafont.com, which I'll post in the video's description. Just go to dafont.com and search for Transformers and you'll go ahead and find this font. Once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and type in some text. So I'm just going to type in A11021085. I'm going to go ahead and grab my move tool and center that text to around here's good. Then what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the text layer and go to blending options. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to color overlay and we're going to go ahead and change that to a very dark gray, sort of like that. Then we're going to go up here to inner glow, or not inner glow, sorry, inner shadow. We want to go ahead and adjust the shadow levels to make it look like it's completely embedded. So we're going to go ahead and put it into around there is good with the distance at 9, the choke at 7, and the size at 8. And so uh, you can go ahead and, choke and uh, mess with these settings any way you want to, as I said before, but for the sake of time, we're going to go ahead and do that. Then go ahead and click OK, and then it looks like you have your text embedded. So like this one right here, it looks like we have our text embedded. Once, you, once that's done, all you have to do is go up here to File and Save, and it looks like you have a embedded text inside of your button right here. Now you can go ahead and mess with the gradients and mess with the shadows all you want to, just to make it looking perfectly. And so anyway, that is how to go ahead and create a embedded text inside of Adobe Photoshop. This will work in Photoshop version CS4, CS5, and CS3. So this has been a quick Photoshop tutorial from me. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you 
you guys in the next video.